I keep looking at the icon for this game, and I see Marissa's hat, and I'm like, oh, it's Marissa. But then the bottom of the, of the image is like her Hakuto, and it it doesn't look like like black. And she also has a red ribbon in her hair, so she kind of looks like Yukari from the bottom. It's really weird. It, it trips me. It trips me up. She like if you if you look at the icon from below and you and you look up, it's like Yukari. But if you look at the top, it's it's Marissa because it's obviously Marissa. It's so weird. Streamer, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the thumbnail icon for the game on my, my browser. It's, it's weird. Alright, let's play. Yeah. I am Mei Ling. Zhao. And all that. Um, yeah, so we were doing more Chaos Planes exploration. So we're just going to go do that right now. So, Chad, I watched a video uh, earlier today. And it was a marvelous video. Oh, I should probably look at Marissa's moves. It was a video on prison school. Now, how many of you have ever seen prison school? Because I did. And I didn't know it was as popular as it was. So what do you do? I guess I'm not really surprised by that. Prison school was actually, like, really popular. It was a raunchy comedy. It was a raunchy comedy. It was... Silly and the artist uh, responsible for a very distinct style, and it got like you know it got an anime adaptation. It did really well in sales. It even got a live action adaptation. Don't worry about the quality of that one, but <clears throat> I I I don't pay attention to these kinds of things because I had already paid my dues, I suppose. I, I already I already seen what I wanted to do, but the series has since ended, and. The video explained the ending, and I got the ending, so I'm gonna spoil the ending of Prison School for you because, because I want to. So anyway, so the entire premise of Prison School is, uh, it's an all-girls school that recently became co-ed. And a couple, like five guys enroll, they get caught up in some buffoonery, and then they get thrown in prison. Like a correctional facility-esque type of deal. On, the, on campus because they're all a bunch of jackasses. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, our main character, he likes, uh, he likes girl. Girl maybe kind of likes him. And this is like the whole thing through the series. But then there's also a blonde girl who's kind of crazy. Who like, they also get into a bunch of situations. It's like a little love triangle, so to speak. Anyway. Anyway, so what I understood, uh, some of the ending arc was extremely boring and samey to a degree. Have I been here before? No, I have not. You won't be able to enter the tower from here. It was very samey and boring and not really progressing. And then when it finally got to the end, here's how prison school ended. So, like, again, the show had garnered some popularity like it was it was pretty popular and it ended like this so our main character oh I actually I should probably address first uh, so the underground student council her uh, so the, the main love interest here she's the younger sister of the student council president of the underground student council and she despises men she hates men because because of her father, I assume. The ass man. You've probably seen him before. Alright, have I been here before? Yeah, I've been here before. And now I can't leave. Shit. I gotta... I gotta... Go back. Okay. So, there's... Three connection points. There's, there's three connection points here that I need to find. Okay, all right. Back, back to what I'm saying. So, uh, oh. Anyway, older sister hates men. Uh, younger sister is normal girl. And the end of the series, older sister goes off abroad, and at the end, our main character, he's in his love triangle, right? And he decides, he decides, and he confesses to, uh, he confesses to the younger sister. And the other girl, the blonde girl, doesn't like that. 
Uh oh, we got a cutscene. You're gonna have to wait. Eep! What is this all about? Everything went pitch black. Huh, wait, I can't see anything. What's going on here? It's what you deserve, that's what. Who's there? This darkness is my revenge. You just, you just deserve for picking a fight with me. So enjoy the gift I've given you. Oh wait, hold on, it's just an enemy, huh? You may think you've gained the upper hand by blocking our vision, but you forgot to hide your presence. Huh? Got you. Eek! It's hot! It's hot! Hmm. And take... That takes care of... Huh? Fui. It's just missed ya. One serving of yakitori. Well done. It sure looks that way. As a fellow flyer, seeing this gets me cold chills. No. Hot chills? If Yuko were here, I'm sure it would stimulate her appetite and make her jump for joy. Yakitori, stimulate her appetite? Someone's suffering in front of you and that's how you choose to talk? Try to cremate me? Wrapping me up with that fake meat incident? What do you guys have kind of grudge against me? Fake meat? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Those claims are all baseless. I've never served cheap, low-quality night sparrow meat at my stall. Cheap! How dare you! Yeah, yeah, have your stupid cheap meat debate somewhere else. Hey! More importantly, Mistia, I just want to prompt you to try a surprise attack on us. I wanted to get revenge on the culprits for what the incident did to me. I just hit the wrong targets, that's all. No doubt because of that Itori's mad scientist-like presence. Believe it. So in that case, you're trying to do the same thing we are then. Yet here we are turning against each other. Goodness. We had no reason to fight to begin with, in other words. That's perfect, then. Misty, if you're looking to defeat the culprits as well, then come along with us. Hmm, I guess that'd probably be for the best. Okay, then let's give it our best mailing. Of course. Misty or Lorelei has joined the party. Alright, well. What's she do? Hold on. Misty, uh. EXP bonus, 5%, and she has sent. Uh, inflict sleep. That's it. Well, she gives a bonus of EXP, so I'll give it to Marissa just to speed her up. She gets everybody that Marissa. Goodness. Alright, there we go. Anyway, what was I saying? Alright, so... This is the big, this is the ending. I'm, ta I'm talking the ending. So he confesses to the girl, blonde girl doesn't like that, and blonde girl pants our protagonist because apparently some point in the series, uh, they had switched underwear for some reason. I don't, I don't have any more knowledge on that than you do, than what I'm saying. But for some reason they switched underwear, he confesses to girl, blonde girl gets pissed, and pants our protagonist, and turns out even after all that time, he is still wearing her underwear. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody could tell you why. But he is still wearing her underwear, and the girl that he confessed to sees this, and then the, the, and the story ends with younger sister here taking up the mantle of underground student council who hates men. And that's how the series ended. And it was... not well received. It was really not well received. Now, you may think that's an exaggeration from the streamer, but the dude, the, uh, the, uh, the, the mangaka in question had begun a new series not too long before prison school ended. I forget what it's called. I forget what it was called, but, oh, bye Marissa. It got about 40 chapters in before it was, uh, before it stopped. Shit got, uh, shit got canned. And there were comments saying things like, Yeah, I don't fucking care. I'm not reading this guy's work again. Fuck this guy. See what he did with prison school? Unbelievable. So, yeah. So I guess the, the popular-esque theory is that the guy working on prison school didn't actually really like prison school very much but his, his other work wasn't getting nearly as much attention 
and then he kind of just did that to it, and it just it really it just made a lot more people mad than anything. It made people very upset, and as a result, there was a basically a boycott to his his new work, and yeah, it didn't do very well, and it stopped after about 40 chapters, which is just kind of sad, but well. What, what can I say, right? Really, what can I say? Other than... Congratulations. I have no idea what the deal with that was. There's so little info on the guy who wrote it. The only thing that I'm aware of that exists is he has a Twitter page. With no, not a single post. Like, this guy doesn't exist. Ring of Fire. This guy legitimately does not exist, as far as I can tell. Like, he's real, but he's not involved in, like, anything. So, yeah. But he has a very good, like, distinct style. It kind of sucks that this is what happened. But, well, he shot himself in the foot. Every series tends to find themselves in this situation at some point. Just getting, like, poorly ending a series and just damning their work. I don't know how they don't assume that, like, like, people are gonna see this, right? And they're gonna be like, well, considering how this guy treats his work, why would I wanna, wa why would I wanna check anything out he else he's done, right? Would you? If you were reading a series, you got really invested in it, and then the author of it just, like, made the worst ending imaginable, would you ever give any more of his work the time of day? Because if you ask me, I, I, I would probably not. I would no longer care about that guy's work if his ending was so dog shit that I felt like I wasted my time. Game of Thrones moment. Mmm. See, I never, I never watched Game of Thrones. So I don't, I don't know the dealio with that, but I've heard the stories about how Game of Thrones just basically uh, threw it all away. <clears throat> how do you fuck up a finale that bad though, right? I almost made a mistake and went north. That'd be the waterfall. We're trying to go this way. So I think one of the exit points is the the hook shot. So this one's probably the other one, but I don't think I can reach the other one. First four are really good. The last eight got progressively worse. Actually, I have to ruin the first four. Oh, I'm in the giant toad's pond now. This area still kind of counts. Oh my god. Hmm. I mean, this guy's probably weak to fire, right? He's a giant tree. Hmm, good. He resists strength down. Bone crush. Sonny's bones! Hmm, <clears throat> the people writing the finale wanted to move on to write the newer Star Wars movies. I believe is the common reason. You're telling me the people... Permanent duration plus one turn. That's pretty good. So you're telling me the people responsible for Game of Thrones were the same ones responsible for the Star Wars movies? At what season? This is an important distinction. Jason! What do you mean, Jason? Oh. Oh, he dropped something. The first four adaptations? Where are they? You're telling me everything past the fourth season was original writing? Relic of the Gods, cool. Oh, chat, speaking of, because I know we all love to talk about Star Wars, did you see that, um, that new Star Wars special, or that movie, or whatever the fuck it was, has received a lower rating on, I think, Rotten Tomatoes than the Star Wars holiday special? Isn't that kind of impressive? This guy's probably weak to light. Yeah, he's a demon after all. I don't have light. It has a critically lower rating than the holiday special. New skills. Flash! Oh, Mistia, please don't use that in a public place. Don't do that. Demons! Oh, 
I um I don't follow Star Wars. I'm I'm not a Star Wars fan. But I gotta say, I, I do feel bad for Star Wars fans every time I see Star Wars news. It's almost like how do I explain it? It's like watching a car accident. But like you saw the first car kinda hit the wall. Oh you can drop a weapon, cool. You see the first car hit the wall, and you're like, oh, damn. And then a second car hits it, and you're like, oh, jeez. And then you're like, you're, you're still watching. And at this point, like, th this highway is closed off, but some people are still driving into it, and they're just hitting more cards. And it's just, it's just looking like a fucking post-apocalyptic scenario right now with how many cars are getting piled up. Because for some reason, nobody thought to turn around. They just keep driving forward with reckless abandon. Oh, you're weak to fire. Alright. They just, they just keep holding the gas and then they crash and they're like, I have no idea how this could have happened. I've seen the original Star Wars movies, and I did see Episode 7, and that was the entirety of my Star Wars experience. And I'm pretty happy with that. I really am. Well, that guy's red, chat. Mm, why he red? Hombra Casagodo. He's a frog. Hmm. I'm sure this won't go poorly. Let's see. Well, he's a frog, so maybe Thunderbolt will work, because he's amphibious. Fifty-nine. Poison, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's fine damage. That's fine. No idea if he's weak to dark. Give it a shot. Sanai has light damage. Try oh yeah, Sanai does have light damage. Alright, let's try Earth Javelin. And Sunny hit him with a water ball. Neutral. Oh you have digest. Ooh, good thing that missed. You're weak to water. Cool. Juicy! Now I have information. Improved Brone Crush. Cool. Why though? Thank you, Citrus, for the resub. I don't know what exactly it meant, but I got that, so cool. Also, chat, not to shift the subject too abruptly because, you know, I gotta, I gotta take my topics one at a time here. But I also watched a video on Dead by Daylight, and it's a uh, first ever official like esports s tournament, and what a disaster it was. But I also watched one. Vroom. I also watched one about the the flashlights and how the flashlights were back when they had uh, the purple one specifically. Oh my God, that's a lot of guys. Oh my god. Huh. Shadow burst. Great water flea. You're a plant? I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Fire. No, big water damage. Alright. It's a water flea, dude. Hey, we did it. We did it. 
Yeah, so, uh, apparently the purple flashlight used to be really bad. And not bad, like, bad. Bad as in, like, a annoying. So, it, you could just insta-blind people. And it was really obnoxious. And <laughs> there was a- there was a panel at, in South Korea over the game with the game- the game director. The main- the guy behind the- like, the game director. Matthew something. That motherfucker, they told him to sit down and play a game. So he sat down, he played a game, and he got insta-banged by flashlights like eight plus times in this game with random people from Korea. He got... He got clowned on. And then, not too long after, that whole... Oh my. That perk was removed. All insta-blind shit disappeared. That guy is weak to water. They're all both weak to water. Okay. Well, we'll shadow burst anyway. Uh, you have water. Ice chill and blizzard. Letty blizzard. I'm not worried about that. It's gonna do five damage. Hmm. It's a funny little kawinky ding. Oh, you too, Mr. Frog? Oh, they're all doing it. Why are they all doing it? Holy shit. Yeah, we got lost words. We're okay. We got lost words. We'll be fine. Cha cha. You're alive? Okay. All right. All right, all right. Sunny's what skill has gone up? Good for Sunny. Real happy for you, Sunny. All right, Wood Golem is no problem. Cause I can just cast Fireball on him and then beat him up later. <clears throat> oh! Isn't it fascinating when you click a random YouTube video and it's like actually kind of entertaining? And then you watch a YouTube video that's like, hey, check out this theory. And it's, it's just crazy. It's just insane. It's like, what are you, what are you even talking about? I saw, I watched a short video on Minish Cat about that. About the the fact that you can't get all three houses for the goddesses for some reason And he was like what if it was a uh, what if it was an Easter egg by Capcom because Capcom made Minish Cap if you didn't know What if it was an Easter egg by Capcom because they made the Oracle of Ages and Seasons games and they couldn't make a uh, They were unable to make their third game in the series So the, the fact that there's only two houses and not a third one is a, I was just like what the fuck? What the fuck is that about? That was insane. Oh, that hurt. Hey, that was kind of problematic, actually. You guys are Sakumogami. Yes, you're... Hmm. Alright, alright. We'll just cast Water Ball. I will mash my way through this. Oh, I'm gonna mash my way through this. Q, Q, Q. My YouTube recommend has been taken by Brawl Stars and some unhinged garbage. Why did Sunny get hit by that? Can everybody come back to life, please? I underestimated these trees. I 
I severely underestimated these trees. I crit somebody. Ow. Keep it up, Sonny. Oh. We're getting there. Yeah, there you go. She has the Kumogami. Actually, you know what? Her standard weapon would have been a lot better because she had the Kumogami Slayer. I forgot about that. Hold on, I got some skills. Let me see. Barrage Blade. What does that do? Who knows? Whoops. Not equipment, skills. Mirage Blade. Chance the enemy to attack with their guard is down. Somewhat high damage. Cool. Sny. Insightful attack and burst shock. You can't have anything because you're holding a staff because you're a good character. <laughs> Insightful burst shock. There you go. Alright. You know, chat, you want to hear something funny? And this isn't really funny so much as it is what happened. Atago Gongen. Well, obviously this guy has to die. Wait, I'm in the waterfall in Nine Heavens? I thought I was in the giant toad's pond. What are you doing here? He's gonna die. So what does this do? Carefully aimed attack, high accuracy, shockwave attacks, damage the surroundings. Alright, well let's cast light on this guy. I think this guy is gonna be weak to water. I also think Sunny is running out of MP. He's not weak to water. Why did I assume he was weak to water? Because he's holding a torch. Made sense to me. Hmm? Alright, let's beat his ass. That doesn't even matter. Look at that. And I got something from him. No, okay. I No, I, I checked, um... I checked my dashboard when I when I got up ancient offering cool I checked my dashboard and I looked in the Toho lost word story video had 56 comments and I was like oh boy why are there so many comments <laughs> What do people have to say about Lost Wood? I didn't I didn't do anything. All I did was read a story, man. All I did was read a story. I'm innocent. But did you see that viewer engagement? Talk about a viewer engagement, man. Oh, it was the usual. You know how it goes. You know how comments go about Lost Word. It's a combination of WoW game bad, WoW game not actually that bad, so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. Nothing I can do about it. I don't plan on engaging with it. I am not fighting this. No, nope, I'm not fighting those guys. Fairy's lost object. Found oh, okay. Alright. Alright, well, Sny can kill anyone she wants. Hmm. These demon things are nasty looking. I'm not scared of them. Let's speed up the process, shall we? Star Blaze. I didn't read what he did. I wasn't looking. Well, that's a shame. I tried to min max. Her 
light ability has increased. That's great. I don't know if that does anything for me, but whatever. This place is interesting. Huh. I wonder if they know there will be more. Oh. Ring of water. There will be more in the future. When? I don't know. You gotta wonder why. I certainly don't know why. I read it because I thought it'd be funny. I thought it would be funny. That's why I read it. I got no. I got no. I got nothing to say about anybody else. How would you even highlight that stream anyway? Was it fun? I had fun. I had fun reading it. But it was mostly having fun at the expense of it, not so much having fun because of it, you know? You know what I mean? You know, speaking of gotcha chat, did you see that that uh that recent one that got announced? That really sussy one? Oh boy. I saw that she got a new skill. I don't even remember what it was called. I'm gonna kill Jason. Cast fireball on the tree over here. Have Sunny smack it. Kill it good. So you're just saying go to Twitter. Uh, well, I mean, I saw it on Twitter, so you're right, but... No, so there was a... There was a gacha game that was apparently announced, like, almost four years ago at this point. I don't remember what it was called, but they were hyping it up, and then it didn't really do anything or go anywhere. And the group behind it just straight up did not, like, share their financials in 2023. So, what they've done at this point in time is they sold off the rights to the game they're making to a Dojin Circle. What Dojin Circle? I don't know. But the Dojin Circle is... I'm pretty sure their only member is the CEO of the company that is selling it to them. So, they're moving the rights to a Dojin Circle so they can avoid the commercial aspect of Sun's guidelines. Hmm. So that's cool. That's pretty cool. Also, the game's not out at all. The game's not out. But if you want to chat, you can pull for the gotcha right now. That's right. This game has early access gotcha. <laughs> Early Axis gotcha. This turtle's gotta die. Marissa, make it so. Yoda's that I don't know. Land regen and selected element. That's cool. Hmm. You get one free pull. So yeah, this um this project. They've also put out like two or three statements now on why what they're doing doesn't go against guidelines. Which, as you know, any any anyone who would do something like that, definitely, you know. If you gotta make it explicitly clear that what you're doing isn't going against guidelines, then it's probably something a little eh, strange about that. So yeah, I'm not uh I'm not touching that with a ten foot pole. I'm, I'm just not. But we'll see if it ever actually even comes out. And whether or not... Hey, what, what happens to it. It's, it's almost funny the amount of stuff you can read about certain things. It's like, imagine... Imagine... What the fuck? Oh. How many red flags can you put up 
Like, how many red flags can you put up before someone goes, Nah, not a good idea. Both of you guys drop weapons. Weak to fire and slash. What do you have? Flex on hit light damage. Interesting. Wait. No, you're weak to stab, not slash. Wait, because you're an eyeball. Yeah, I can barely tell who that's hitting, but I do see the circle. I do see the circle. Yeah, you resist it and you're immune to it, so doing that is pointless. Alright. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna kill the tree because he's dangerous. I don't know what the eyeball monsters are gonna do. Hmm. When you do two gotcha pulls, you can either get a bonus for having your name in the credits or literally decide what goes in the game. What? What does that mean? Good night. I sleep. How am I missing this giant eyeball? As far as I know, the only real ongoing game is like Lost Word, right? Alpine Stars. I actually don't know if there are any what other like gacha games are going on for Toho. Leather. Uh, more defense. I mean, it'd be nice to give to you because, yeah, you have nothing. All right. Arcadia record. Is that the cave one or is that the other one that was uh, extremely dubious in its existence? <laughs> did I get everything here? I don't think I did because I still see that guy. Hold on. There's no... There's no point, to, like, or portal out of here, aside from the way I came in. So, I gotta make sure I get everything before I leave. Hmm. Again, so it clips. Okay, that Arcadia record was the one I was thinking of. That was the one that got accused of plagiarizing, right? And, like, it was by devs who had been previously accused of plagiarizing as well. So, that's... That's always good. I'm trying to get down there. I need to figure out how to get over there. Let's see. I see it. Wait, it's like right at the start. Oh. I think. Oh no, there it is. It's right there. Okay. I see it. I see it. Hmm. How do they get the money to do that, but... Not the money for other thing. I don't even understand how that happened. The fuck? Goodbye, gotcha. Chat. How is it we find ourselves at a point in time where it is so easy to pick up a game and drop way too much money into it? Yet, if you wanted to go to McDonald's and order a Big Mac, you would have to work over an hour of your life to afford it. What happened to us? What, what's going on here? I'm serious. The Big Mac metric. You ever seen it? It's surprisingly legit. 
You can use the price of a Big Mac to gauge inflation. <laughs> it's kind of insane. And sure enough, boys, it now costs a lot of money for a Big Mac. When back then it did not. Oh, I've been up the side. Okay, so I think the giant toad's pawn is done. Hmm. But instead, our most popular video game type of, uh, of video game distraction is one that people pour way too much amounts of money in. And microtransactions. And other games. And such. I just have to wonder what happens sometimes. Okay, there seems to be something with that lily pad. There's a portal there. Hmm. But I don't see a way... Unless I go around the... F oh, I can't go around the fence. No, I can't. Never mind. Hmm. That has to be from the waterfall, I assume. I can't get further up there. No, I can't. Okay. Fast food is no longer fast food. Fast the price of fast food has increased to the point where it is it is considerably a luxury. Giant Toad's Pond South. Okay, so there's another area here. I guess if I go north, I'll be at the waterfall, which is kind of where I want to go anyway. Okay, no, the waterfall's up there, so I can't get to the toad pond from this way. I am kind of injured, though, in terms of my MP. It means eating shitty food and not having to cook so high enough people to pay for that. Well, you've seen stuff like DoorDash, right? Chat, have you ever used something like DoorDash or Uber Eats? Because I have. I do not use it regularly. But just looking at the price tag from ordering so, uh, from a site like that is enough to make me think I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather starve. I would legitimately rather starve than pay that much money for a burger delivered to my door. So yeah, fast food is no longer fast food. Fast food is a luxury item at this point. Oh, everybody got paralyzed except Moko. Oh, Moko got paralyzed. All right. I was afraid of this happening. Well, better safe than sorry. So yeah, it used to be you didn't want to cook, so you got fast food because it was it wasn't very good for you, and it was, but it was cheap and it was ready. But now fast food costs pretty much just as much as making your own shit anyway, so you're spending equal amounts of money to just be gross. And it's like oh, that's kind of sucky. I don't like that. I don't like it either. I should have had Sunny hit one in the back. No double bug, please. Now, I don't mean to get all doomer about the current state of the world or anything like that, because, you know, there's enough of that already. But it is certainly something that I find kind of interesting to think about. How the Big Mac is such a powerful unit of measurement for inflation. Whose card is this? Mitori? Yeah. How did he know? He guessed. Oh, the bird. They have frosties. How much does that cost? It's hard to enjoy things when you constantly think about the price tag, but, well, you don't often get a lot of, uh, uh you don't really have a lot of choice in that matter, most of the time. You really don't. You're gonna have to think about it, because it's important to living. Let's go back to the 70s. Let's do the time warp. <laughs> Let's 
Let's do the time warp again. Oh, the wasted years. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, free shit. Necklace of Strength. That sounds like a good equip to give to my favorite character, Mei Ling. Can I have other? Oh, thank you. Raise your attack. That's great. Let's put it on. Blinged out. Not bad. This is a sequel, yes. I don't know how much a direct relation it has to the game, but it is a sequel to GOSV. And it is, from what I've played anyway, it's better. Oh, that's cool. What a great use of time that was. It has a lot more quality of life options. It's genuinely pretty better. I think it's pretty cool. Alright, I think I've seen everything I need to see in here. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I don't I don't know why I have to answer this question so often because I feel like it would be pretty obvious but no <laughs> I'm not my brother my brother's name is in his twitch chat like did you did you click did you click this channel did you read the channel name is this my fault do I not make this clear enough I don't know I don't actually care that much I just think it's funny Streamer, your name is on his name too. Yeah, because it's my fucking name! What do you want me to do? No, it's fine. I'm just I'm just being a fucker. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my identity. Oh wait, I didn't want to be here. Okay, I don't know where else to go in the chaos plane, so I'm gonna backtrack or I'm gonna fast travel back here, but I'm gonna go refresh my uh MP real quick. <clears throat> You want to synthesize? Yeah, 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 I want to synthesize. Give me the moral tack. Okay. Steel shield. Yeah, give me the steel shield. Yeah. Crested leather. Yeah, give me that crested leather. All right. So, I ditched Nitori, and I have... Let's do a little, uh... Let's do a little equipmenting. Crested leather is just high-grade weapon, or armor, so, sure. Um... So this just grants resist, which doesn't really matter. The buckler is 50-50. The steel shield is 40% rate. It doesn't work with... I mean, mailing's more important. Mailing needs an increased power of sorts. This sword loses accuracy, but it's very strong. Let's try it out. Okay, you have the small shield, which is lower rate, better resistance. Leather armor, which is, uh, yeah, it's just better. And you haven't actually changed your weapon from your base weapon, so we should probably do that now. So you can take the long sword. I do have these. Wow, that looks like the shovel, doesn't it? Oh. Okay. You have a mace. Why do you have a mace? I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, but you do. You have the magician's robe. And you can have the ring of fire, and uh, Sunny can have the ring of... Okay, the ring of water doesn't actually do anything. You can have the ring of water. I don't know how you're not weak to water to begin with, but that doesn't really matter. So I have the mage staff, which is actually a little better. So we'll throw that on. We have that on her. It's fine. Sunny doesn't have a shield. We'll give her a buckler. She has a crowbar and the snake scale armor. Yeah, that seems fine to me for now. Cool. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's head back now, shall we? To the waterfall. Night. Can't enter. What? Can't enter via the map. Okay, so north and south. Weird. I think I got everywhere I want to go. So let's... Let's head to a new area after this one more fight. 
Yeah, good job, Marissa. Accuracy be damned. That's okay. That's okay. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. You know what I'm gonna do? What am I gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know. I spent most of my day yesterday... Uh... <clears throat> most of my day yesterday was back to writing. On my, my script, which... Is gonna be a half hour long at the minimum Maybe Because well, how do I put this? How do I put this? I Dedicated like 30 minutes alone to just trying to solve the mystery of Momiji's ears And then it was 11 o'clock and I was like, okay. All right cool. Guess I'll have to continue not today. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm almost done per se, but that's good. I'm not almost done, but I'm out of like the early game. And by early game, I mean like the games with the characters who have had the most appearances. So there's less to look at now. There's still aspects that I can still touch upon, but I feel like at this point the video speed is going to pick up immensely. It's gonna pick up and then we'll get to the end and then I can worry about putting it all together. And that's always fun. You know, this turtle would go down a lot easier if I actually hit it. With, uh, with magic. But you see, this is the first screen of the dungeon. So, it's important that I don't blow any of my MP early and cry later. Alright. Everybody understand why? Okay. Okay. That's better. So, you drop- you can drop something. You drop something too, but you're irrelevant. Fire. Also, I got the weapon, I think. I did get the weapon. Chat. We need a new highlight. It's a bamboo pole. We need a new highlight for Grazy to work on. He has not been working for two days now, and that is simply unacceptable. This motherfucker needs to be at the ready. Let him rest? What do you mean? We got so many videos to cook up. You guys gotta give suggestions. Tell him what you want to see. Tell him what you want to see. And he can start cooking. Oh shit. I didn't realize there was a connecting point there. Kinda hidden. We go in the cave. There's a couple put Okay, what's your deal? You make the thunder and light. You zombie killer. I got the 2% drop from you, really? Alright. Well, I'll hit him with a light beam. And I'll hit him with a plasma beam. And Sunny will smash PR. Racing simulator, what do you think? Yeah, I felt that way as well. It was fun, but it was a shit show. I don't know how entertaining it would actually be. It was 100% a shit show. It was a funny one, but I don't know how well it would translate to edited content. I can't imagine Mahjong would be interesting at all. Not to mention, that's a lot of footage to sift through. It's like 10 parts. That's a lot of Mahjongi. 
Alright, I'm going up. Highlights should be focused on one shots. I agree with that. That's why that's what they all are. Doing it for series is a pain in the ass. Why are you guys weak to water? You're like Omega killed by water. Alright, Sonny, cast Water Ball. I'm not worried about a ghost. Just trying to end my career? Highlight for the blindfold Iron Run? Yes. That's already. That's been done. That one was done. And we're sitting on that one right now. It's not that that stuff's impossible to do, it's just, it's, it's a lot of footage to sift through. Which means, A, I have to pay Grazy more money to sift through it, and B, it's like, you gotta condense it more, so you gotta cut out so much more. And I, you know, it sucks to cut and pay him. So, you know, we don't wanna, we don't wanna have to do too much of that. We gotta keep it controlled. <laughs> it's a controlled environment I'm running here, alright? But it is understandable that you pay based on the footage. That makes perfect sense to me. So one-offs are a lot more contained. Whereas more multi-part stuff requires basically watching five times the amount. And it's like, uh... That, that, that adds up. It's hard for me to pay. Studded leather. Do you only highlight the first part of the series? I don't think that's a great idea. Personally. I see paper over there. I can't reach it. There's also a blue guy. Hmm. Yeah, but fan game reviews take a lot of fucking time. Those take a lot of time. Those are not quick. Because it's still just me doing them. And what you, I, I haven't really done any in a while because, well, I keep having ideas that I want to work on that end up spanning very long amounts of time. So there's that. So they're not really quick videos anymore. Usually I, I work on a bigger video and then I need to, I take a bit of a break. Because I'm, I'm, I'm juiced out. Hero of Iceberry was very long. Fan shmups, maybe. I guess that kind of depends how many you want to group up. Because those are one-offs, but they're also like... Some of them are like 30 minutes long. But I have to wonder how the novelty of that would run out after a while, right? I mean, you could do some of the, the tier lists and sorters as well. Yuma game? That's a good one. Yuma game is one of the highest viewed VODs of, uh, on the channel, I believe. That's a four hour VOD, and I think it's one of the highest viewed in the whole channel. That's fucking crazy. That's actually crazy. That game was a smash hit. Yeah, what do you think, Grazy? You think you could get some content out of that one? Sure. All right, I'll, I'll pack it up and send it to you later. Just be sure to remind me. I will forget, most likely. If that works out, I can probably. Well, I mean, I say probably. I'll see if Woe Man would be okay with doing a thumbnail specifically for that. It's his game after all. So if he wanted to whip up like a special thumbnail for it, I'd pay him obviously. But it depends whether or not his commissions are open. If he wants to do that. Mm. The Hifu Jam, uh, the Hifu fan game, that was an individual VOD uploaded because I thought that game was really cool. That one is uploaded, but making a highlight out of a 30 minute video is harder than you think. Because when you take out all the, when you take out all uh, the, the fluff, it's like four minutes. The April Fool's collection work for a highlight? Yeah. Yeah, that could work. 
the uh, the April Fool script. We can do that one, Grazy, as well. The uh, the April Fool scripts I did, because that was about that was like the Ronald McDonald lad, the Koishi Koishi brain fuck one, those, like that one. Those are pretty neat. Where is streamer going? I don't know. Oh, that's a party. <gasps> I have the leather. No, I have the Neza. <gasps> oh. Oh. You make the thunder? Yeah. This turtle doesn't seem to have protective stance, which is nice. <clears throat> the creepy pasta reading? Uh, I don't know about that one because I feel like when you cut around the story, it makes it kind of just confusing. It just kind of makes it confuse. Why do they both have one HP? You're not getting the full effect. And at that point, it's just kind of messy. Fan jams could work, yeah. The Toho quizzes? Well, uh, we have, a uh, we have the rejection tier list. The rejection tier list has been highlighted. It's like 43 minutes long. It's it's a long one, which is expected because it's just me yapping. Okay, hold on. That's three to four. So what connects over here? It's over here. <clears throat> oh, a hook shot spot. Need a hook shot. Okay, so that's gonna keep me here. What the fuck? You're weak to fire. I'm not really surprised. Fire arrow. Omega killed. The quiz one as well. Yeah, feel free to keep keep uh, keep the ideas coming. Just gotta find thumbnails for them. And then we can have a steady flow of highlight updates, chat. Steady flow of highlights. Content. We can have the content generation. Wow, that move was a little scary. I think he'll never do it again. Oh. He's got a drop. Why am I suddenly in area eight? Oh god. Stinky ass cave. He can't get to work because I have to give him the VODs. I don't think he can download them without permissions. So I have to I have to get them and give them to him. Thankfully the quality from the YouTube videos is already like 1080p, which is nice. You can work with that. Alright, so a little cave action. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit just to get as much as I can because it seems like the way to go forward is past there. Oh wait, no. He's playing Minecraft? God damn it. What the hell are you doing? Did I go in here? I did, but there's nothing. He's not on the job right now. Ooh. So you have, okay, you read the thunder. Muen Kaika. Oh, shit. Thunder and fire, huh? Alright. Let's see what we can do here with this guy. He just attacked twice. He is weak to water, though. Oh, he has regen. Okay. 
We can just kill him with Ice Chill. Too easy. Too easy. Strange voice. Mist robe. Cool. Alright. Bridge of memory? Uh... Maybe. What do you think on that one, Grazy? That was the one, the, the Yoshka game that I played that I had to, like, translate on the fly. And by translate, I mean read the script provided to me. That was a neat little game. <clears throat> what about the Halloween Fumo games? So this is when I started. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, the Fumo Halloween. The Fumo Halloween games would be funny. There's a number of ones that could be pretty good, I think. So it's good to get- oh shit! Zombie killer. Oh, you had the mist robe. Okay, you are deathly weak to water, but you are a fucking scary enemy. Okay, you are way scarier than the other guys. I want to be the Shrine Maiden. I mean, I guess. I guess that's true. But that game also kind of, kind of ass. That game was kind of ass. They're all coming at me with work. Well, have you made a list? Are you writing these down? I hope you're writing them down. Somebody put these in a notepad. Bye, mailing. You did your best. That was a hard fight. Nah? Fuck you mean nah? Write that down! Keep this in mind, this is important. Need I remind you who's getting paid for this? Oh, there was a chest in there. I'm paying you. You could, you're, you're, I'm, I'm telling you to write down things that I will pay you for. And you're saying no? What are you doing, man? That's money. Wait, which way did I come from? I came from the little hole over there, didn't I? Hold on, I have to check this cave again. No, there's nothing in here. There's no dead- no, there's no deadline. I'm just saying, it's good to write these down, because I'm gonna forget them. At the end of the stream. And I'm not gonna be able to send them all the- all the appropriate bods. Oh, right, I did come this way, there was... Nothing. Okay. Somebody- is somebody writing it down? I already have the Mugen video highlighted. I did that one myself. It's like 40 minutes long. I just needed a thumbnail. And I've been sitting on it for... Well, fucking months now. If I... To be blunt. So, that is one that I have already had ready. But it needs a thumbnail. Not this way. Not this way, streamer. You're not getting paid? Why Why is it that the community cannot just help the streamer without some promise of monetary gain? What is this about? Why is there always got to be some kind of monetary gain whenever it involves helping the streamer make things that are entertaining? I want to run because I don't want to fight two turtles.
I'm always asking for money. Motherfucker, you know where my money goes? Huh? The money goes towards the videos. I use the money for the videos. I think you motherfuckers grossly underestimate how much money I spend on the things that I upload. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, even my biggest hater has put in- he's put in so much effort for stream content. And then my self-proclaimed biggest fans wouldn't even lift a finger. If I was falling off the side of the cliff, they just they just type Omega Lol in chat. Those are my those are my fans. That's what they do. He's willing to spend a ton of money. It's not quite like that. It's more so that I have to spend money to get the value that I want to see out of the work that I I have. So one of the troubles that comes from wanting like custom thumbnails is the fact that they are not cheap but i don't like i i don't like thumbnails that aren't custom because pretty much all these it, it, well first of all if it's not just like art that you stole from somebody and didn't credit that's one thing but then there's also the quote-unquote thumbnail style there's the thumbnail style that's oh so popular where Diary's art is front and center, borders on the thumbnail. I don't know what that trope is. I've always thought those look really ugly, is putting borders on them. And then, you know, word art style. So, I don't like thumbnails like that very much. So I want my thumbnails to illustrate the idea of the video and also like look good and be creative. That's what I wanted. And as a result, I have to spend money to pay people to make these things. Mini's full saw style. Well, the full saw style is different because those are VOD uploads. And when I upload VODs, I just take screenshots from the game. I don't- I very rarely do anything with those because that's a lot of extra work that I'm just not willing to put in for VODs. It's too much work, but for edited stuff, it's different. And it's the same deal with Vinny. But, but the, the difference with Vinny is that Vinny doesn't commission people to do thumbnails for him. People fucking just draw art for Vinny and then they let him use the, the, the work for thumbnails because they, they drew it for him in the first place. He has an endless fucking, like, pile of high quality fan art to choose from for any given game that he's playing. It's crazy. He's still a shitter, like, well, I mean, it's mostly his editor who does, like, the, the funny thumbnails for, like, VODs and stuff, but I'm no graphic designer. But I like the, I like the type of thumbnails that are, like, clear. I guess is the best way to say it. Like, you can kind of tell what's going to happen with in the video in question based on what you're seeing. And then they can be creative and exciting. And it doesn't just use standard assets, I guess. It's not like Diary's art is bad. In fact, his art is very good. And it's a fucking blessing that he throws, like, every character in a nice style. And he allows them to be, like, freely used by people. That is unbelievably nice. But the curse is that they're considered, like, stock image. It's Toho's stock image library. Even though they're high quality. It's like when you look at Lost Word uh, art. Lost Word art isn't bad, but when you see Lost Word art, there's something about it that just strikes you as, like... How do I describe it? How would I describe it? It strikes you as, uh... Like... Not official, necessarily, but... Like... Yeah, I really don't know how to explain this. Corporate. Maybe? Maybe corporate. I don't think corporate's the right word. I, I don't know if that's the right word, but there's something about it that feels, uh... 
like, different than having, like, personalized fan art to it. Safe? Maybe that's the word. Yeah, single art style helps. But there's not much I can do about that front. There's nothing I can do about that. That, that is out of my control. So... Uh, I think we're going s south. Oh, obtain the Boom Boom Mario newspaper. Ah, those green and white clothes. Gatekeeper of the Scarlet Double Mansion spotted. Ugh, that overly excited voice. Is that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ta-da! It's Genzoki's wild riding brush, Pierre Adana Shimamaru. So it really was you. My bad feeling was right. Another nuisance in our path, huh? How are you so energetic in your state? Hmm, <laughs> of course I'm energetic. I'm a strong one, you see, and a pro reporter. And with a big incident like this going on, would I need a reporter pass on getting an equally big scoop? No, never! Right, I'll give you one thing, Aya, you're tenacious. A pro reporter, allow me to ask you them. Since you're covering the incident, have you by chance learned anything about the culprits? Uh, of course I have. Come on, who do you take me for? Wow, I should have expected as much from a pro like you. Could you share us your inf Should you share your info with us then, Aya? Right. May I have your attention, please? <clears throat> the info I've got in regards to the very core of the incident. In other words, the identity of the culprits. The identity of the culprits are the, those devils from Makai, the three devil devas. Should have known. We've known that for ages. I'd say we should have known better, but honestly, we were the stupid ones expecting anything from her. Y you got it all wrong! If they hadn't went to the trouble of making their declaration of war, this would have been honest to goodness brand new info. Yes, yes, of course. News is no good unless it's new, you know. The Boom Boom Mario newspaper's report is a sham as always, huh? You take that back! Ha! Ha ha ha! That's really funny, you guys. If you really doubt my reporting skills that much, then how would I, I prove myself to you? By revealing some private, unbecoming info about all of you. <laughs> what? Don't you dare, you bird brain. Why are you getting so mad over the truth? Y yeah. No, I'm pretty sure anyone would get mad over that. Anyway, info aside, we now know that Aya has involved herself in the incident as a reporter. Precisely. Not only is the incident a danger against Sokyo, but look at what it's done to me! Therefore, I, Shamei Maduaya, am going to report on my path to the res resolution documentary style. So you're resolving the incident, huh? I see. Why don't you come along with us then? We're aiming to defeat those Makai devils and end the incident too! Absolutely, count me in. After all, traveling along with such a distinguished group, as a reporter, I could wish for nothing more. Hmm. <laughs> come on, come on, let's get going! There's no time to waste. I guess it's my fault for inviting her. But I feel like I'm going to regret this. Maybe losing Aya to the incident wouldn't have been so bad after all. Damn you, Tori. That's kind of cold-blooded. You were friends in the last game. I like how the Miasma cleared up in time. So she probably has the same shit she did in the last game, right? Thunder skill cooldown minus one. Quick as the wind. Allows the user to perform the same action twice. Yeah? I mean, we'll just give her to Moko. Doesn't really matter that much. So I know where I am right now. There's a blue enemy there. Whatever that means. Anyway, what was I talking about before I was interrupted by Aya? Right, uh... So... Regarding, like, art style... Like, I, I like having a consistent one, but... I can't do much about that, so we're gonna have- we're gonna end up having a mishmash, but I kind of like that as well because A, it lets me, you know, it lets me hire more people to do things for me, that's cool. I get to pay people I want to pay money to do art for stuff I make, that's always good. And their art is good, so people enjoy seeing it. Sure, it might be a little confusing, to an extent. Wait, did I just pop out from there? 
Well, I'll be damned. That whole time I could have done that, huh? Alright. For games. FOE. Why are you at 1500 H- Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, well, let's figure this out, shall we? We got thunder, try fire, and water. Neutral. Weak to water. What do you do? Gather strength. Ooh, okay. We're gonna nullify the damage. So it's weak to water. Uh, intelligence for magic. This is, uh, yeah. This is a Sunny and Marissa show. This will block the damage from Gather Strength. This will give you higher intelligence. So their water attacks will do more. Juicy. That's good. Oh, missed. Venom Zapper is a tremendously powerful column attack. You can stop physical attacks by inflicting blind. Your formation matters a lot for column attacks. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I mean, if it's weak to blind, it's weak to blind. The only thing is, my blind caster is also my main damage dealer here, so. Pace is good. All right, got it. Can't see. Can't see to attack. It should, it's still blind, so I can't do it. Okay, so I can just attack. Pretty sure we're okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game was expecting me to die there. Then it was going to feed me the tutorial and tell me to come back and try again. Sleep success rate plus five. Raj blade up. Oh, he was the guy causing the miasma. Pretty mirror. Okay, so now I can, uh, now I can walk out of here, I guess. Sure. <clears throat> so the blue guy is a miasma boss. Ah, I see, I see. Mm -mm. But yeah, I got a couple uh, thumbnail ideas in the works. I got one in... I got one queued up. I'm gonna get Ferdy for one as well when he's available. I want to get Slash as well. But, uh... He's unavailable for, like, a week. But that's fine. Uh, Douchey as well. When he opens up his commissions, I already told him to save me a spot. Ogi as well, but I'm not- the thing about- I'm not sure what I want Ogi to do. Or if he really even wants to do it, of course, but... I'm not sure what I can- like, what I can utilize his style for, thumbnail-wise. I feel like his style- Works for more serious games. So I need to find like a more serious game for him to take on. Not sure which one. Oh, heavy damage. Nice thunder shard. Okay. There's a red guy in my way. This fucking guy. Oh, that's kind of scary actually
You're more weak to water, right? Yeah. Alright. I think red guys are just hard encounters. Like, these two enemies here are definitely this area's, like, don't fuck with us. And there's three of them. So, yeah. It's like the red shadows in Persona 3. They just have a strong shadow. Hit him with a thunderbolt, please. Good softening up hit. We should be okay. From this point. Yeah. We're okay to mash. Oh, we won't be if Malin goes down. It's a nice indicator so you don't just run into an encounter. You don't just run into an encounter and you're like, Oh, that's, uh, that's the hardest encounter in the area. Cool. And you just eat shit. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna kill the one in the back. Because I can. I just beat up the Tengu guy. The other guys are kind of whatever. Control land doesn't matter. Break his kneecaps. Smash his knees. So it would be nice, chat, is... Uh, with how many videos we kind of have collecting at this point, I can definitely do a pseudo, like, not daily. Oh god, no. Not not a not a daily upload schedule. No, 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 no. Not not daily. <laughs> not daily. But we could kind of get away with something more weekly based, which I think would be great. Cuz if you think about it, with how many videos we have waiting just to release, we have 2 months of content in the, in that regard. 2 months of content that we can equally distribute in a, in a couple of, uh... Also, it helps a lot because if we did daily, we I would simply run out of content to, like, highlight. There wouldn't be anything else. So, Vinny doesn't do it. Vinny just does hi Like, Vinny's channel has highlights when they're ready. No real weekly release schedule. Just when they're ready, they're, they're there. So, we can do a pseudo, like, uh, a pseudo weekly type of deal. Which I think would be pretty good. Doesn't have to be exactly every week, but a general a, a generalization of it would be nice. Mm -hmm. How many highlights does he need? Who me? You think there's something wrong with having highlights? Haven't you ever thought, gee, this stream was great, but it would be better if it was like an hour less lo time because in that extra hour it was just streamer mumbling and jumbling and getting lost and not actually doing anything. With highlights, you don't have to worry about the streamer's in, uh, incapabilities. You can just experience all the best moments at a moment's notice. It's great. That's the benefit of highlights. It's different when you're actually here, I think. Well, highlights are great. Because they're digestible packets of something that highlight... As the name implies, the best parts of something with, uh, while leaving out the parts that weren't so interesting. Like, uh, Fumo. Fumo Kart. That video is also when we have. And Grazy cut out the entire time trial shenanigans that I did on the Okai Mountain because it was not interesting. And as a result, it, the video is better. Because he just cut out 30 minutes of unneeded content for maximum enjoyment. Phenomenal, isn't it? So that's the benefit of highlights. We can skip things. We can skip around and keep things interesting and fun. And you can also rewatch them. I won't lie, chat. When I watch the... Uh when I watched the blindfolded speedrun, or not speedrun, the blindfolded run of IN, I found it funny. I laughed at myself. I was like, wow. 
Can you believe this fucking guy laughing at his own content? But I, I, I kind of enjoyed myself. It's goofy. I do not want to fight that. Nope. No, yapping's not deleted. I mean, it kind of is. Depends. It depends on what the yapping is. Whether or not it gets deleted. But for the most part, it's... We try to focus on letting the gameplay do the speaking, right? As opposed to, uh... Well, the, the tier list one we did, that's all yapping. Not even that it was a joke that was made, it's just the gameplay itself and the reaction to the gameplay was just ridiculously stupid. And actually seeing what had happened, like, when I- when we were doing Raisin's, uh... When we were doing Raisin's penultimate spell card, I think it's her penultimate one, the one that fires all the bullets from the- the corners, how I ended up moving into it, I moved into the familiar and it stopped shooting at us and Andrew kept getting on me like, what, what are you doing? You're, you're in the familiar and I was just like, well, where, where am I? I, I? I couldn't help but laugh at that because I thought it was funny. I also discovered something new. Well, I mean, new to me. That those familiars don't shoot if you're too close to them. I didn't know that. Now I know. I also capped her fi uh, Marissa's final by not moving. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I capped- I might have capped it. I think I capped Kane's final. The one with the tight lasers. I capped that one, too. Oh, shit. How have I ended up in Makai? Wait, what? Oh, no. Mining Village, Archer, Magician, Suchikum. Oh, these guys are fucked. Hmm. I don't even remember what they're weak to. I think they were weak to electric, but they might have been weak to water. Magic missile. Provocation. Drawing enemy attacks. You're a little late for that, guys. Three of my units are stunned. Alright, well, that magician's going to die. Make MP cost nothing. Flashbang. Invalid. You cannot topple the mining village. Well, that works. Okay, good. Now we beat the shit out of the rest of them. There we go. I don't want to be in Makai anymore. This place is a little hard. Okay. Improved burst shot. Yeah, I don't want to be here right now. I guess I finished this area? Hold on. I don't know if I did because there was... I'm in area 5 and I went to area 6 where I got Aya and area 7 I think was... Area 8's the cave, right? How do I get back up there? Huh. I don't... 
I don't remember how to get back up there. How did I get down here in the first place? Oh. Does the world map mention missing chests? Bakai 3, Chaos Planes 2. Uh... No? I found the connection point and I beat the area boss. But when I go back in this cave here... You see, there's another... There's like... There's like two other entrances. There's two other entrances. But I, I didn't find any connection point to them. And I don't see a way to progress from this point. And I couldn't progress from the other point either. So... I think maybe I, I'm gonna head back to the... I'll call this area done for now. And I'll head back to the Hakure and I'll head to the underground. Cause I think the underground's probably easier than Makai. Makai was fucking rough. All right, the hook shot. Yeah, yeah, the hook shot. Uh, Yokai extermination, earth shard. Find and recruit Satori. So that, honestly, that quest right there makes me think that Satori is a, who I was supposed to go get first. Cause she's at, um, she's in the underground. Can't enter via the map. Underground. Alright. Search for coals when the dungeon gets dark. Examine them when lights up. Alright. Discover each area on the straight up will show what areas you have characters and have given found. Okay. Well, I'll just keep going. I'll keep going. Uh, actually, you know what I'll probably do first, chat? Whoops. Before I keep going, um... I really didn't have a plan on what to play next. So I'm probably just gonna keep playing this, but instead of turning it into one chunky-ass, like, three-hour VOD, I'm gonna break it up. So I'm gonna stop it now, and then I'm gonna sort of resume the next part right away. So that way it'll even out, so... Good. I really don't have a plan otherwise. I I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't think hard enough about that. I'll have to think of some stuff to do later. But I'm just gonna click end record now, and then I'm gonna click record again, and then it'll be broken up into two VODs. So it'd be easier digestible content. Yes. That's the plan. So if you're watching this now on YouTube, then the next part will be available prob I don't know how much longer, but probably not that much longer. It'll, it'll be, it'll be soon, surely.